What's up guys? I'm here to tell you that I made a short film and I was a director. This took place last year and I'm gonna tell you all about it. It was pretty awesome. So last year I was assigned a big project to do in film class and this is how it went. So we all got to pick from a couple different choices like being the camera guy, being the mic guy, being the director, being assistant director, being producer, all that good stuff. The editor as well. But way before that we made some screenplays like at the beginning of the semester. All of us, the whole class. Mine wasn't that great but apparently it was chosen as one of the five best ones in the class. I was like whoa whoa okay. Because like everybody got to vote. It was like a survey and it said you know, choose your choice on which screenplay you would want to see being filmed. And they chose mine. I'm like, what? The teacher, he was looking at his paper and he was like, all right, we chose Dream by Angel Villalobos. I'm just like, what? Why mine? I'm gonna be real. Mine, it was pretty jacked up. It was not that great. But then again, he said that a lot of people voted for mine and that mine could have much more potential if it's a little bit of tweaked or rewritten. Then like two weeks after, we got another survey. These are the choices. Pick your best three and I'll see where I can place you. And I chose director, editor, and I can't remember what else. But I knew for sure that I wanted to be a director since it's my screenplay. And I know what I'm doing. I know how cameras work. I know how audio works. I know how lighting works. I know how all of that good stuff works. And if someone else was a director for my screenplay that I was working with, it would have been pretty bad. Camera, cameraman, stand about here. A week passes by and boom, I get my group. And do I like the people in my group? Sure. There was one person in my group that I did not like at all. Let's just say that. But that doesn't matter since she wasn't even at any of the shoots since we didn't invite her. Ooh. But she still got credit because I'm a good guy. Then the class periods after that, we just had to work in groups and our groups just to try to figure out what we're going to do, who's going to do what what's the whole plan and all that good stuff and like I said my script it was really jacked up like I didn't I was just trying to do this assignment because it was due on a certain day and I just wanted to get it over with I, I wasn't really aiming for much quality but I was just trying to aim for something to have a point but since I'm not a professional in the storytelling field my teacher he was like oh this doesn't make any sense you know you're gonna have to fix it up and he was right he was right after that we pretty much spent a couple of weeks working on the script and this is the cool thing i didn't really have much part to do in editing the script since there was already roles in my group that had to do that and these two people in the group really changed up the script i mean they kept it pretty much the same like the same concept there's some guy named guicho he's in school he's waking up from a dream that's pretty much the whole concept but they made it completely different towards the ending and just like the whole plot it was pretty nice I remember we were in a group chat and it was about a week before we had to start filming everything and so we were in bad trouble like nobody really like everybody just gave up in my group nobody wanted to do anything and this is where I had to step up I was like no we gotta do something man luckily one of those two people in my group really helped out he changed the whole script up he made it so good really good actually really good luckily everything was fine then we started finally filming finally it kind of sucks though since we were on Thanksgiving break but we still had to come in into school for like five hours like super early in the morning and you gotta stay there till a while because we needed to get work done and we had to be in a school building. That's what the script was about. That was the setting bro. I'm not trying to talk for like a billion hours. Long story short we came in did our thing we finished in like three days. It wasn't that bad. It was really time consuming and I I was just that one person who had to keep saying, you know, guys, we got to keep going, go, go, go. You know, I'm, I, I was kind of trying to rush them, but then I wasn't since, you know, I already know how that goes when you rush people. Sometimes they won't do as good when you rush them compared to when you won't rush them. So basically I was just motivating them. I was like, come on guys, we got to do this. Let's say this as a director, I had way too much of a responsibility. Like I had to take care of pretty much every role, the editor's role the music role, the director role, of course, the camera guy role. I had to take care of like everything. It was horrible. Hard work does pay off, right? <laughs> In the credits of my movie, you're going to see a bunch of people's names, but just know that I pretty much did like everything. Not everything, everything, but I did like 75% of the work since I wanted it to be perfect. And the people in my group, they had no idea what they were doing except the camera guy. That was my homie. 
he knows exactly what he's doing. But yeah, like sometimes he still had trouble doing certain shots and I would have to hold the camera for him at certain points. But you know, that's not his fault. That's just me wanting it to be perfect. That's why if you watch my short film, you're probably gonna see a lot of shaking because you know, I was trying to hold the camera as steady as possible using my 50 millimeter 1.8 STM lens that I'm using right now. And if you guys don't know, this lens has no image stabilization. And when you're zoomed in very far without image stabilization, it is like virtually impossible to keep it steady, like using just yourself as a human and not any other equipment. I don't do much run and gun shooting at all. Usually my camera is just on a tripod like how it is right now. And that's it, you know, I just leave it there. The most scariest thing about making the short film was that like all the equipment was provided by me since I, I already have everything. I got the camera, got the mic, got all that good stuff. As my mic, I use the Zoom H4n and that thing almost dropped on cement a few times. That was so scary. Let's just say this, long story short, I made it a short film. I was a director. I made it easy on my crew. I pretty much did all the work. Well, 75% of it and it came out as a great film. It was about a month after we were done finishing everything. We had to show it to the class and I had to go up there and play it for them. Before I played it, I had to make like a speech about it, about, you know, what was great, what was bad, what the movie was about. It was just whatever, just your thoughts on it. And what I said was that I didn't really like the film at all because I watched it like a billion times, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Then I played it went back to my seat and after the film was done everybody liked it i was the last one to show my film since like i was trying to go but everyone else they just kept raising their hands super fast I'm just like dang dude before i went to go show my film to the class i remember telling one of the group members behind me you saved the best for last man then when the film was over three of our people in the group including me had to go up there we pretty much had to talk about how the process went and like what we did and all that good stuff when we were done with the chat i went to go sit down well we all went to go sit down then i remember this one girl in front of me she turned around to me she was like you're right you do save the best for last and i was like whoa oh, thank you thank you like apparently everybody loved my film everybody said it was the best and even the people from my group they said i was the best director ever i was like whoa that means a lot to me thank you like i was extremely shocked that i even got picked i even told it to the class like i was super shocked that my screenplay got picked because i wasn't even aiming for that it amazed me even more when everybody loved the film i'm guessing it was the best because i just knew what i was doing the screenplay it was okay like i said one of the people from my group he like pretty much changed everything but he added like a bunch of garbage towards the end and i told him nope 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 we we can't have that we can't have that we gotta cross these out and i'll tell you which, which ones uh, what we gotta cross these out and i'll tell you which ones we can keep because we need the movie to have a, like a powerful effect when it ends it can't just be like bye have a great time and then it ends that's lame that's pretty much it there's not really much else to talk about other than i made a film and it was great. This was my first ever project that was like, write it, shoot it, edit it. You get no help. But we did great. We did great. We did fantastic. Thanks to me, baby. The film is called Guicho's Dream. I'll put a link down in the description. You can see it. It's really short because it's a short film, obviously. It's like, I think under five minutes. Also, this isn't the end of the video. I'm going to add a couple clips towards the end or when I'm done talking. It's pretty much some clips that I just grabbed behind the scenes, you know, all that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to watch my film down in the description and I'll see you later. Peace out after you watch these clips, baby. Well, we chill. Thank you for paying attention to the... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's reshoot it. Um, three, two, one, go. Well, we chill. Thank you for paying attention to the simulator over here. You gotta say louder than that. Thanks for paying attention to the simulator over here. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's in focus and everything. Make sure the black bars are, they don't block. Yeah. You. Make sure it's straight. All right. Three, two, one. Um, but where is everyone? Wait, Diego, uh, stand like right here. Just get a little closer. <laughs> All right, right, you're good, you're good right here. Uh, move a little bit this way. Oh, actually. Actually, it doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't matter. Point the camera <laughs> like this. So all this white space doesn't really all right, catch him. Yeah. Alright, alright, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Wait, what? <laughs> loud clap. More loud than that. Three, two, one, go! Well, I figured I embarrassed you and you wouldn't 
from class earlier and you would not want to talk to me again or start talking to me? Say it uh, like five <laughs> times. Well, I figured I embarrassed you in class earlier and you wouldn't want to talk to me or start talking to me. Well, I figured I embarrassed you in the class earlier and you wouldn't want to talk to me or start talking to me. Just put it like I'm, I, 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 I don't show up at all, right? Sure, you don't show up. This is really close. Tell me, tell me when you start seeing it. Whoa. Yeah, you so see I don't even need this. No. <laughs> Wait, it's too much. <laughs> It was good right there. Yeah. If you don't mind, Juan. You were good, Angel. Angel. Angel, you were good right there. It didn't show up. Are you ready, ready, ready? You sure it doesn't show up? It doesn't show up. Three, two, one, go! I'm up. <laughs> say, it, say it like pretty loud. Like, I'm up! Here, let me put this down. Do it over again. What's up with the face? Alright. Um, Alright. Three, two, one, go! I'm up! Let's <laughs> do uh, Say big money at Menards. Big, say big money at Menards. <laughs>